It's time to check back with WC reporter Chris McClure to see what the word is from the freshman campus this month. How's it going, Chris? This month I'm going to focus on a West Campus teacher who does his best to inspire students, teachers, and others in the Red Oak community. Coach Bone has been teaching in Red Oak for 10 years and currently teaches what he calls motivational speech and coaches basketball. Earlier this year, he published his second book called Inspiration Points. I recently had a chance to sit down with Coach Bowen and discuss inspiration points and other topics. We're here today with Coach Bowen. Now, what is the subject of inspiration points? I've had a lot of people in my life through the years who have had a great inspiration to me, uh, such as my mother, an awesome lady of faith, and my grandmother, uh, a servant, and my grandfather, a great uh, passionate preacher. And this book kind of tells her story. What led you to write Inspiration Point? You know, a few years ago, I began to realize some things I didn't really know before. Uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a long story here, but I think you need to find your niche in life. And uh, I began to realize a few years ago that I really had a niche for inspiration, for motivation. Uh, in my classroom, the kids come in every day and we have a little 10 minute inspirational uh, time. Uh, in the gym, the kids, the ball players, they come in and they, uh, we run a lot and we push them. But, uh, you know, I, I get a chance to inspire them to play hard and get after, get after it, dive on the floor for loose balls, take charges. Uh, at, at church, I get a chance to inspire there. Uh, and the book's a chance to write stories that are inspirational that can inspire people not only here, but also uh, across the country, across the world, even in 100 years. It can still be here to inspire people. Do you plan to write more books? Uh, that's a hard question. Uh, I do, actually, my goal is every three years. Uh, the hard part probably isn't the writing of the book. Uh, that's hard enough, but just uh, the work, the promotion, the marketing, uh, the book signings, there's a lot of time involved. I have enough, enough information for probably a book uh, every two or three years. I do want to write every three years, and uh, that's, that will be part of my, hopefully my legacy. Tell me about your daily motivational emails. Uh, another thing I, we do to inspire others, hopefully, uh, I write almost every day a motivational piece, uh, sometimes a book of Psalms, uh, a thing that will just kind of give everybody a little boost in their day. You know, uh, it's like eating. You don't just eat once a week. You know, you eat every day, three times a day, and motivation, you need to do it every day. So these emails help uh, some people, at least, uh, on their daily walk. Uh, so I have about 300 or so on my list. What inspires you? That's my favorite question you're asking. I think that's a real neat question. Uh, a lot of things really inspire me. Before I can inspire others, I must be inspired, certainly. Uh, the Lord, first of all, uh, I'm a little bit high maintenance, and so I know he needs to put a lot of uh, attention to me. Uh, I, have a, I have a grandson who's two and a half. They've got him a little Dewey in the paper. Uh, he's amazing. Uh, I have uh, these bands here belong to one of my ball players named Nick Vitek, and he gave them to me today to, to wear and he lost his mother last year during the season. And he's a little bitty fella, but he plays hard, has a lot of guts, and uh, he inspires me. Uh, uh, Brandon Adamchek, who I wore his jersey yesterday, number 26 on football day. And uh, two years ago at the district, he dove across the finish line uh, to, uh, to get second in a 400 race. And amazing. Uh, my ball players, they don't realize when they start working hard and diving, and, and hustling, and they come together, uh, that really inspires me. Uh, my students, come, I have the best kids in the world. They come in here every day, they're, they're enthusiastic, they're wonderful, uh, mainly freshmen and sophomores, and, uh, and when I'm tired and worn out, they really give me a lot of inspiration. So I have a lot of people that, uh, you know, every day give me inspiration. I hear you have a mean rally clap. Would you mind showing that to the Hawkeye News audience? Uh, Chris, it's a little bit too intense for this audience. The, fan, the fans want to see it. I've had some requests for it. Really? Are you yeah. sure? The audience really would like to see it. All right. I need everyone to stand up. I need okay. uh, elementary kids and intermediate kids, high school kids. All right, stand up. Okay. All right. Then. All right. If I get up now, get up, baby. Get up. Are you ready? Yes. Get down low here. Down low. Hands together. If I get up, please get up. Hands together. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Enjoyed it. If you'd like to receive a copy of Inspiration Point or to receive Coach Bowen's daily motivational emails, you can contact him at stephen.bowen 
at redoakisd.org. The books are $10 each, and each includes a personal note and the author's signature. Also, be listening to the announcements for information about Red Oak's Fellowship of Christian Athletes, led by Coach Bowen and Senior Chad Birch, meeting every Wednesday morning. I'd like to thank Coach Bowen for taking the time to talk with me and for all he does to make Red Oak ISD a better school district. I'm Chris McClure, and that's what's up with the WC. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Chris, and those of us who know Coach Bowen can tell you that he certainly can inspire students and adults as well. We hope everyone will get a copy of this new book. See you next month, Chris.